Okay, so I have to make a quick video, a quick, another review on this regulator. Uh, F-Zone, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, as you can see, there's the model right there. It's the one with the small gauge. I'm having issues with this uh, regulator. Um, so I don't recommend anybody to buy this, recommend, or this regulator because it's just gonna kill your fish. The problem is the needle valve will stick. Well, I would just not say stick. The needle valve will go up to 30, like it's supposed to, and I think it's preset for 30. And then it will, one day you'll have your bubble counters all set for 30, working pressure. And then all of a sudden, you know, it jumps up to 50. Then you're dumping tons of CO2 in your tank. And I'm telling you, if you're not home and catch that, it will kill your fish. Now, I've had it happen to me about seven or eight times. And it's hard for me to be able to trust this regulator and dump in the proper amount of CO2 in my tanks when adjusting to 30 working pressure at about two bubbles to three bubbles per second for a 75 gallon tank and then all of a sudden bang 50 friggin psi and it's just it's pouring into your tank so i don't recommend this regulator to anybody this regulator is going to be going i gotta get a new one uh it kind of sucks that i dumped out 70 dollars and i got my money back but the problem is now I got to go and buy another one. I try contacting the company and the company will not do or respond. So it's just a loss. So I would have rather had them not give me a refund and sent me another regulator like it sh they should have. And this is, it, it started doing this three months after me having this regulator. So now I've been going probably, you know, about a month and a half, two months, just being cautious now with this regulator. So now I can't dump in like I'm supposed to, but uh, hopefully I can resolve this issue. Or if anybody has any idea out there how to fix this, uh, I don't think there is a fix because I think the uh, needle valve in these are very cheap and it's just basically um, either it's not closing or opening properly. So. And it does it, I mean, when it kicks in, like, when the regular kicks in, the solenoid, and turns it on, sometimes it'll just go right to 50. It doesn't happen while it's running, staying at 30, and it, you know, it stays. But when the power bar, or the timer kicks in, this comes on, bang, sometimes it goes to 50. That's the problem. So... Anybody have a solution to this problem? Maybe we can fix this regulator, but I highly doubt it. And I do not recommend this regulator to anybody. So uh, thought I'd just give you guys a heads up. If you have one, watch it. And hope to God he didn't lose any fish because of it. Later.